My background is fine art, and I started a small business many years ago called Franciscan Graphics to help support our order. The students come to us because they know that we're here for them and that we're available. Sometimes they're coming for something deep and spiritual. Sometimes they literally are panicked because they have to have a paper turned in in two hours and their printer broke. One of the things we do here is we run a little coffee house every Friday and it's a place where students can come to integrate faith, academics, and life. We have wonderful young students who love to bake. So instead of just having chocolate chip cookies, they will be doing really far out, very complicated recipes. And we usually have a gathering of about 25 students who are serious about their faith because besides the camaraderie and the friendship, they are delving deeper into things that they've learned in philosophy and theology. But at this coffee house, they can share opinions, express ideas, and bounce ideas off each other. I'm just thrilled to be teaching in a Catholic university because I get to do both. As a religious woman, the theology is a part of me, and I also have an advanced degree in theology, a master's degree in theology. Then I have my doctorate in environmental engineering, and I feel like I can give the students a fuller picture. So she works for the government. So the Catholic approach, in a true both academic and spiritual sense, is actually the fullest approach to reality that you can have. We're a yes and religion. Ecology is one avenue in the new evangelization. Many people do respond to the created world because of its beauty, complexity. There's a sense of awe that's, I think, innate in humans. And that's a grammar that speaks of God the Creator. So it speaks of something greater than itself. And I want my students to learn how to read that, that grammar. All the sacramentals, toys, and sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My students might refer to the mystery of sacramentality as what consistently comes up in my classes. So in everything around us and everything that happens in our day, God is trying to touch us, to speak to us, to make himself visible to us, to make himself present in our lives. We have radical vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. And that's really our primary mission, to make Jesus Christ the poor one, the chaste one, the obedient one, visible to the church. And of course, his challenge to us is that it's only if we are on fire with the faith that we're going to ignite uh, that fire in anyone else. I am an attorney. I went to law school at the initiation of my community because we needed someone who was legally trained and I'm an adjunct professor at the university. Many times people come up to us and express that they appreciate seeing someone in habit. It's a sign of the presence of the church, and I think it's a sign of hope for people that somebody is investing themselves in a committed relationship to the church and to the people of God. There are lots of people who want to get a higher education. They want to come to a Catholic school. They want to be grounded in their faith, but they don't have the funds to do it. I did. I received a presidential scholarship and a small athletic scholarship. So I uh, definitely, you know, I wouldn't have been able to come here if it weren't for the scholarship. Sisters are, are just wonderful. You see them on campus, they, they say hi to you, they smile. They're great to have around. Sister Mary Roberta is one of the Franciscan sisters that I have uh, developed a very strong friendship with on campus. Having sisters and priests on campus changes the dynamic. It makes it a little more respectful and responsible. They're so unique and they all have their special talents. And to share that with us along with their faith is truly amazing. The sisters, with their different personalities and different backgrounds, they're like a beautiful diamond. It has lots of different facets. It, they shine in different ways, but they make one beautiful gem. And I think here on this campus, they really shine brightly.